Bak Yisu received a call from his brother, who wanted to meet him. He then told his brother that he was kind of busy. However, beside Bak Yisu, who was talking with his brother on the phone, a young man shouted at others to stop ruining things. Meanwhile, as Bak Yisu was about to decide whether he should go meet his brother, a man armed with a knife named Lee Yong Chiol, who was a member of the North Korean Task Force Unit, came before Bak Yisu and stabbed a young man that Bak Yisu referred to as a newbie. Seeing this, Bak Yisu told his brother over the phone that they will meet later, and he hung up the phone. He then asked the newbie how bad the wound was, and following that, Bak Yisu took off his jacket, revealing that he was wearing a soldier's uniform underneath. Bak Yisu, who was the HID Special Task Force leader in North Korea, faced the armed Lee Yong Chiol and defeated him easily. After taking care of Lee Yong Chiol, Bak Yisu told his subordinate to treat the wounded newbie and to wrap up the scene since he has to go somewhere. And he then put on his construction work jacket and headed out while he thought to himself that he could not tell anybody what he really does and that is why he lied that he does labor work. On getting to the restaurant where he was supposed to meet his brother, Bak Yisu was stopped at the entrance because of the way he dressed. At that moment, his brother came and ushered him in. Meanwhile, at the site where Bak Yisu works, one of his subordinates was complaining about how they had to eat frozen pork for the first party they've had in three months, while another person responded that they should just wait for the manager, who told them that he was on his way to join them and that he might get something good for them. A while later, the so-called manager arrived in a minivan, and he was welcomed by the enthusiastic soldiers. The manager then told them that he had an important project that was why he came late. He then noticed that their leader Bak Yisu was not present, so he asked them where he was. One of the soldiers replied that Bak Yisu left early due to some private reason. Hearing this, the manager swore and muttered to himself that his job is going to get harder. Following that, he shot one of the soldiers in the head, and a group of heavily armed soldiers alighted from the van the manager brought and started killing Bak Yisu's subordinates, while the manager told them that the special unit is being disbanded, and all of them will most likely die. Back to the restaurant, Bak Yisu's brother proposed that they do a job together since he, as a businessman, could not stand seeing his brother suffer from minimum wage. He further told Bak Yisu that the job was nothing too difficult other than to manage some restaurants. Bak Yisu then replied that he would think about it, and at that moment, Bak Yisu's phone rang, so he made an excuse to go receive the call in the toilet. When he got to the toilet and answered the phone, it turned out that it was one of his subordinates, Li Xion, who called and informed him that the manager Jang had betrayed them and killed almost everyone. Hearing this, Bik Yisu told Li Shi On to hang on because he would be there soon, but Li Shi On told him not to bother because the manager would be coming for him as well. At that moment, a man who was wearing a bulletproof vest and a mask entered the restaurant, and as the waiter was about to stop this man, the man cut the waiter's neck with a knife in an instant, and then the man, who was not alone, approached Bak Yisu's brother as they tried to kill him. Meanwhile, Bak Yisu ran out of the toilet and he was stopped by armed men with knives who wore a bulletproof vest and mask on their faces in the direction where he left his brother. These men attacked Bak Yisu, but he was able to defend himself and kill them all easily. However, back at the construction site, the manager asked about Bak Yisu from his secretary, who told him that one new special unit has been sent to take care of him and they should be done soon. But the manager replied that one unit was not enough against Bak Yisu so he told his secretary to send one more, and they are to kill all witnesses along with Bak Yisu. And after killing all of his attackers, Bak Yisu rushed over to his brother's location, but his brother, who was stained with blood, asked one of the masked men who they were for them to interrupt his dinner, and it was revealed that Bak Yisu's brother had killed all of the masked men who approached him earlier. The two brothers left in Bak to Gyeong's car, and they confessed to each other about their secret identities, which was that Bak Yisu was an Hain ID informant who goes to North Korea, and Bak Du Gyeong was not just an ordinary gangster, but the boss of the Taizen cooperation. Bak Yisu then told his brother to drop him off, since there were people after him, and he did not want to involve his brother. But Bak Du Gyeong taunted him instead and brought him to his mansion, where there were people preparing for a funeral. Following that, a young woman approached Bak Du Gyeong and addressed him as a director and also told him that she had prepared everything just as he had requested, and that the plan would be completely finished in two hours. Bak Du Gyeong then told his brother Bak Yisu that if he dies, everything will be solved, and he then showed Bak Yisu's funeral picture to him, and told him that it is exactly like a performance he had learned from a Japanese Yakuza before, 
And he further explained to Bakiesu that this method is used when someone needs identity cleaning or escaping. Bakiesu then asked his brother if manager Jang will fall for their trick, and Bak Du Gaiang replied that the manager might have some doubt, and that is why this performance is important, since Taizen is a well known organization. So the important people who'd come to condole with him on his younger brother's death will serve as witnesses. As many people came for the funeral, manager Jang was also outside the mansion in his van looking at Bek, Du Gaiang's information, and he discovered that he is Bak Ye Su's twin brother, and that he's just a gangster. Manager Jang then told some men in the passenger seat that this was their last mission before entering the field, so they should make sure that they confirm that Bak Ye Su is really dead. As these men came down from the van, they were stopped by Bek Du Gaiang's men, but these men defeated Bek Du Gaiang's men easily, and it was revealed that they were part of the Hid North Korea Special Spy Team too. As they were about to approach the mansion, they were stopped by a huge man who told them that there was a private funeral going on and only those who had delivered the obituary were enshrined. The leader of the Haidi team, too, suddenly punched this huge man on his jaw, but the punch was not effective at all as this huge man was the Taishan Group Head of Security, and his name is Hajin Wong, who was also known as Hanam Dong, the Holy Immovable Man. Following this punch, Hajin Wong grabbed the leader's jaw with one hand and broke the jaw which surprised the rest of the team. But they concluded that it was because he caught the leader of the guard, so they attacked him together. But they were all mercilessly by Hajin Wu seeing that all his men had been defeated. Manager Jang alighted from the van and apologized for the misunderstanding while introducing himself as Bak Di Su's boss and saying he had come to offer his condolences. Bak Du Gaiang, who was watching all that had happened, signaled Hajin Wong to allow the manager in. And after the manager finished offering his condolences, he wondered if Bak Yi Su was really dead and how much bake. A flashback was shown as Bak Yi Su told his brother that he would confront Jang himself while using his appearance. Back to the present, Bak Yi Su, in his brother's appearance, told manager Jang that they could talk privately. On getting to the room, he threatened manager Jung with a knife and told him to explain who killed his brother. Hearing this, manager Jung thought to himself, if this means Bak Yi Su is really dead, then this means Bak Du Gaiong is really dead. Then he told Bak Ye Su, whom he presumed to be Bak Du Gaiong, that his brother died while on a national mission and that he couldn't really share the details because they were confidential. And he also promised that, however, Bak Ye Su punched him and said that he talks a lot and asked him again about who killed his brother. And as he was about to attack manager Jung with a knife in his hand, he was stopped by Haji Wong and the um woman, who told manager Jang that it is best if he left. After this performance, Bak Ye Su took his bag and decided to leave, but his brother asked him where he was going and tried persuading him to lay low. But Bak Ye Su did not agree with staying with his brother and becoming a gangster, so he left, which made his brother Bak Du Gaiong worry about him, and he told Ha Ju Wong to tell his men to watch his brother since he might do something stupid. On the street, as Bak Ye Su was moving, he noticed Ha Ju Wong, and he asked him if they were going to keep following him. Ha Ju Wong replied that he was just following his boss's order and a man was seen shadowing them. Meanwhile, Manager Jang ordered his men to keep an eye out for Baek Du Gaiyong, because he felt the exorcism of Baek Du Gaiyong was truly that of someone that wanted to kill him, which means he might be aware of something. At that moment, his daughter arrived, and they left together for home. Over at Baek Du Gaiyong's place, he complained about not having smoked for a while, but his secretary, the young woman, told him to wait while she went get it. But Bak Du Gaiyong demanded that they go together since he's cooped up and needs some fresh air. However, the young woman told him that it was dangerous for him to go out without his guards, and most of his guards are with Bak Ye Su. In the elevator, Bak Du Gaiyong held his secretary's hand and introduced her as his sister to one of the guards who was with them, and the guard greeted the lady and addressed her as ma'am. Following that, Bak Du Gaiyong told the guard that all those who address his sister as ma'am are gathered in one place and he asked the guard if he was one of Manager Jang's men. After fighting for some time while he also protected Su Ah, the duo were able to kill all the guards in the elevator. On getting out of the elevator, a guard who was concerned about Bak Du Gaiyong's injuries approached him. Bak Du Gaiyong asked if this guard had a cigarette, but the guard instead stabbed him in the stomach. As Bak Du Gaiyong grabbed the knife with one hand and the guard's jaw with the other, he discovered that the guard was putting on a fake face, which he removed and exposed the guard's real face. As Bak Du Gaiyong tried to attack back with his knife, the guard ran back very quickly, which surprised Bak Du Gaiyong. He then asked for another knife from the other guard present and told the guard to protect Su Ah. 
It was now revealed that the guard who stabbed Baek Du Gayong was part of the HID Special Task Force assassination team with the alias Ghost. As the fight begins between Baek Du Gayong and the Ghost, Baek Du Gayong notices that the stab wound is deep, so he has to finish the fight quickly while the Ghost asks him if Baek Su is really dead. Seeing that Baek Du Gayong is answering, the Ghost asks again where Baek Su is. Meanwhile on the street, as Hei Ju Wan was escorting Baek Su, they discovered the person who was following them, and they lured the person into a corner where Hei Juwam attacked the man. But Bak Yi Su was surprised to see that it was one of his team members named Li Xiao. Bak Yi Su apologized to him for not being there with them, but Li Xiao told him that it was okay, since the two of them are still alive. At that moment, Hei Juwan received a call saying that Bak Du Kaiyong was under attack. Back to the fight between Bak Du Kaiyong and the assassin Ghost, Bak Du Kaiyong noticed that his vision was becoming blurry and decided to end the fight quickly. But Ghost questioned him if he was really Bak Yi Su's brother, and he was able to wound Bak Yi Su, and he praised him for being impressive as a gangster. Following that, he asked Bak Du the heavily injured Ghost got up and left. But not too long after, Bak Yi Su arrived and saw his brother's dead body. He cried out while the Ghost, who was escaping with his last breath, was happy that he killed Bak Yi Su not knowing that the person he killed was Bak Du Kayong.